Howdy, everybody. Here we are all ready to take you down to Pine Ridge for another visit with Lum and Abner. Brought to you by the makers of Horlicks, the original malted milk. See what's happening down in Pine Ridge. As we left our old friends yesterday, Lum and Abner had just gone over to Caleb Weehunt's blacksmith shop to inspect their new store on wheels, which has now been completed. The construction is another of Caleb's masterpieces. The only trouble being that he's made the mistake of building the big body on the old car chassis inside of his blacksmith shop. And now the old fellows can't get it outside without tearing down the whole blacksmith shop. <laughs> As we look in on Pine Ridge today, we find Lum and Abner just approaching the blacksmith shop, still perplexed over the situation. Listen. Yeah, I reckon Caleb's here all right. I hear him pounding on the anvil in there. Well, let's, let's just tell him, Lum, and it's up to him to figure some way to get our store out of there. Yeah, I'll talk to him. Yeah. Wait a minute, that ain't Caleb. It's Cedric. Yeah, hey, Cedric, is your boy here? Cedric! Mom? Uh, whereabouts is your paw at? Well, he ain't here. Well, we can see that, but whereabouts is he at? Oh, uh, he's over home, I reckon. He laid down to take a nap after dinner and said there weren't nothing to do down here this afternoon, no way. Nothing to do? Well, Granny, he better be down here studying up some way to get this store out of here. Yeah. Well, he said that's up to you fellas to figure that out. All he contracted to do was just to build it. Yeah, but it ain't doing us no good sitting on the inside of this blacksmith shop. No, we want to get the thing out of here and get opened up for business. Well, I don't know nothing about it. You'll have to talk to him about it. Well, that's where we made a mistake, Lom. We ought to have an understanding that it'd be delivered to us when it was finished. What time did he say he's coming down, Cedric? Well, he never said, Mr. Lom. You might telephone him up and talk to him, Joe, too. Yeah, call him up, Lum. Tell him to get himself on down here. Yeah, what's your ring over there, Cedric? Uh, three shorts. Just three little rings. Yeah, sure, I ought to know that. Yeah, they said I find how to do. Have a store and can't use it. Yeah, that truck from the wholesale house and the county seat will be out here late this evening. Got to have some place to put all them groceries with. Hello? We hunt this place? Uh, 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 Mrs. Weehunt, is Caleb there? I he is. Well, uh, see if you can wake him up and get him to the telephone, please, Mom. Sleepy, Teddy, Why, th this is Mom. Well, I'm at it. Yes, Mom. All right. Thank you, Mom. I'll hold it. Out on the front gallery, sound asleep. Well, now, hmm. just talk right up to him, Mom. Make him come on down here and get this thing out of here. I'm getting to it all right. You ain't putting nothing over on me. What you making there, Cedric? Mom, oh, uh, I was trying to make a ring out of a horseshoe nail for a Clarabelle sea trunk, but it ain't doing right for some reason. Yeah, I saw them things right pretty. The nail head sort of looks like a set when the ring's made right. Oh, yeah, body tape and polish and things up right good. Looks just like silver. Just leave half it as a store-bought ring. You ought to bend it around a little piece of iron pipe, old Cedric. That ain't going to work that way. We'll get it round. Hello? Caleb? That's the way. This is Lum. 
Yeah? Why, me and Abner's down here at your blacksmith shop. Just wondered if you couldn't come on down here. Why, we want to get this rolling store of ours out of here. Well, it ought to be some way, Caleb. Well, it ain't doing us no good sitting in here. Yeah, tell him we'll sue him if he don't get it out of here for us, Mom. Well, now, if you don't... Sue him for what? Why, we... Uh... Well, there ought to be something. You ain't got no ground for a lawsuit. Wait a minute, I'll tell him that anyway. It might scare him. Yeah. Caleb, I'll tell you right now, if you don't get it out of here, me and Abner's going to bring suit again you. Huh? Why... Now then, he's asking the same thing. Go ahead and prove what? You just keep out of this, Abner. No, we are just joshing about that, Caleb. We wouldn't sue you over a little old something like that. But we would love to get the thing out of here and get started with it. Do what? My law, me, Caleb, we couldn't afford to do that. Say, the only thing he knows to do is to tear the blacksmith shop down. He'll let us do that if we'll build him a new one, he said. Well, tell him we won't do it. No, we won't do that, Caleb. And on top of that, he's crazy. And on top of that, you're crazy. Will you hatch up, Abner, before you cause me to get a whooping? It's a blacksmith I'm talking to. Well, go ahead. No, I was just wondering, Caleb, if there ain't some other way of getting it out of there without tearing the whole shop down. Well, we might could take the roof off, Lom, and then lift it up through the top somewhere or other. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, Caleb, uh, how are you going to lift the thing as big as that clean up through... Wait a minute, Abner, I don't know who I'm talking to. How are you going to lift the thing as big as that clean up through the top of the building? Well, I ain't studied that part of a child here. Could use a block and tickle, or I reckon. Block and tickle. <laughs> That's a foolish society I ever heard of. Won't work, I'll tell you that. I was figuring on that this morning. Well, if we can't get it out through the roof, and we can't get it out no other way except tearing down the whole building, why... Wait a minute. Huh? Hey, doggy, I got ivy. <laughs> Why, sure. <laughs> what is it, boy? Well, uh, this is a dirt floor in here. Uh, why couldn't we just dig a tunnel and go down under the building and come up on the outside? Just, just drive our store right down through the tunnel and come up outside the building. Well, law me, dig a tunnel big enough to drive a store through cost ten times as much as tearing down a blacksmith shop. It would. Well, yeah. uh, don't do that then, Law. We might as well tear down a blacksmith shop if to pay ten times as Wait much. Now, I don't want to... I, I forgot about Caleb. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hello? Caleb? <laughs> huh? Uh, no worries. I was just listening to Abner here. He had some ideas about getting a store out of here, but none of them were in no count. Well, just pay ten times as much as cost us in the first place. Uh, which do you think would be the cheapest, Caleb? To tear the store down and build it over again, or tell her to tear the blacksmith shop down and build it over again? Oh, well, man, it's awful crazy sometimes. Paying ten times as much. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Tell you the truth, I think Caleb just wants a new blacksmith shop built. Why, sure he does. Sure, that's all he's trying to do, just get us to build a new one. He's wanted for 15 years and said he never had the money. Well, uh, Caleb, can't you come on over here and let's talk this thing over? It ain't, it ain't going to get out of here by itself. That's the thing. Why, of course not. Where'd you get that idea in your head? Well, we've got a batch of groceries coming out here this afternoon late, and we want to have it opened up for business by tomorrow if we can. Yeah, it looks to me like we're going to have to open up inside the blacksmith shop here. Just have a store in a store. Wait a minute, Caleb. We can't run the thing down here in a blacksmith shop. Well, I said it looked like it. Haven't I? I can't talk in you mumming here. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, can you come on down here, Caleb? All right, fine. We'll wait for you then. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. And he finally said he'd come down. I don't know what good it'll do, but it might be we can study up something. Three minds is always better than one. Huh? Like nothing. Just let it go. Let it well, go. see, you know, I just can't hardly wait to get this thing out on the street. Well, that dog is that'll attract more attention than a parade, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I bet the young'uns and the dogs and everything else will be following us all over town. Why, sure, everybody's just a waiting for it. I dog it. I bet they lie in the streets here like they do when the circus is in town. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to dress ourselves all up good, too. Yeah. I wear some of them sport clothes I was wearing when I was in society here. Now, you better I'm leave them clothes off. Well, I can wear once. It won't hurt nothing. Sort of on a parade anyway. <laughs> we had some souvenirs we could pass around, have some too. Yeah, yeah, it was. 
Wait a minute. What are you fixing to do there? I nothing. I just thought I'd sit down up here and see if I'm going to be able to see out through the windshield all right, see where I'm going. Well, Cedric will do the driving right at first. You said yourself you never know nothing about driving that car. You better be trying to help me study up some way to get this thing out of here. Well, I know how to run it all right. I watched it off. I know what I'm doing. I know all you got to do is start it and just, just turn this key up there and then pull on this choker and step on the saw. That's all you got to do. Cedric, reckon we could brace the building right good and tear the front end out of the shop here and get the store out that way? No, Mom, I don't think so, Mr. Long. Paul says if we tear down there one of these walls, the whole building will fall down. It's a rickety up there. And that roof's flagging off the bad now. What are you doing there, Abner? I'm just trying out the engine, see if it's running all right, that's all. Well, don't start that thing up in here. You'll fill this place up full of carbon bauxite and suffocate all of it. I know what I'm doing now. Here you are, sitting around playing, and me sitting here wearing my brain out, trying to figure out some way to get the thing out of here. Ain't a bit of him. Hey, wait a minute. What are you fixing to do there? Well, it sounds as though Abner finally solved the problem of getting it out of there. Abner and Horlicks will now bid you all goodbye until Monday at the same time.